a moving moment during my campaign. I knocked on the door and the person returned my flyer indicating that they were from another political party. I informed the individual that I was new to politics and if I'm elected, I will be working for my entire town. We exchanged some thoughts and as I left, she called me back. She said she wanted to say a prayer for me. She took out a Bible and prayed for a moment. Thereafter, she gave me the Bible. The Bible is the same Bible I am using today to take off. I ask you, if you are here today, or you see a video of this inauguration, please reach out to me. Otherwise, I have spent eight years as an investigator, and trust me, I will find you. <laughs> I would like to congr congratulate all the elected officials who have taken the oath of office today. Congratulations, and I look forward to working with each and every one of you. To my family and friends, and some who have traveled many miles to be here today, and my husband who has been committed to this endeavor, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. To our community who took the time out today to continue showing their support, thank you. Without you, we would not be here today. Thank you for having faith in us. In short, I am committed to ensuring the health, welfare, and safety of our residents. I will do everything in my power to ensure I represent the entire community and we all move forward together. To my council members who have all agreed to work cohesively, I look forward to working with you and reaching new heights. Thank you Councilman Jim Wooten for your service and Councilwoman Kent, I look forward to working with you. I would like to, I would like to make a note there is no I in team. My successes will be the collective result of the entire town council leading, managing, inclusive of the entire town hall staff, all working together towards one common goal. I have come to realize in management, we need to see the issues and circumstances we, we face in Riverhead, not through a myotic lens, which tends to be narrow in scope, but through a panoramic view a panoramic lens. Utilizing the myoptic approach towards issues and circumstances inhibits isolation and encourages mindlessness, often resulting in missed opportunities to learn and inhibits collaborate, collab collaborative solutions. Conversely, the panoramic view will provide engagement, the sharing of ideas, concepts, along with the ability to make good, solid, and justifiable decisions. Our community is, dy is dynamic and has so much to offer. Together, we need to explore its potential. I will always have the best interests of, of our community before mine. I leave you with this note. Today, we saw, we saw our Today, we sought to move our government forward. However, I believe government is not the only solution. We, the residents of Riverhead, together, we are the solution. Thank you and God bless. Thank you so much, Supervisor Aguiar. I would like to extend my personal congratulations to you and all of the elected officials sworn into office today. And I think I speak for everyone here when I say that we wish you much success during your terms in office. As members of this town and surrounding communities, we commit to you today to stand with you and to pray for you continually in the days to come and throughout your times in office. I now invite Mr. Ziggy Wilinski, President of the Riverhead Polish Hall, for some brief closing remarks. Thank you, Josh. Good afternoon, everyone. 
On behalf of our elected officials sworn in today, I want to say congratulations. And on the 2020 inauguration committee, I would like to take this opportunity to offer a sincere thanks to Bob Castaldi and the very professional and capable staff of the iconic Suffolk Theatre for making this very special and historic venue available for us today. And to all today's participants who contributed in one way or another in making this event so special, we thank you very much. We are particularly grateful to Josh Palmieri for doing such a terrific job and keep us all in check as our MC. A round of applause, please, for Josh. I am very grateful to have been yes here today. I love my town very much. From living in Rivet for 67 years to my job as postmaster of Rivet for 15 years and in my post as president of the Rivet Pole Shore for nine years, I've come to know many of our great residents pretty well. And in fact, I see a lot of familiar faces in the audience today. To the elected officials, behind me, beside me. Thank you for agreeing to work every day for the residents of Rubat and for representing all our collective interests. We appreciate you, appreciate you and good luck in your, fu your future endeavors. God bless. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ziggy. And uh, I just want to echo once again uh, a huge thank you to everyone who had a, a big part in putting today on. Uh, but most specifically, I wanted to say a big thank you to Devin Higgins, who without her and a couple of people who helped her, this, this day would not be possible. From design to putting the, uh, the seal on the cake and everything in between, she coordinated a lot of today. So thank you so much, Devin. In conclusion, I ask Sister Margaret of the North Fork Spanish Apostolate to come forward for the benediction. Sister? Happy New Year. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks on this day of new beginnings of new hopes, new dreams. Today we ask for blessings. Blessings for our new supervisor, for our town board, and for our beloved town of Riverhead. We ask you to bless Yvette as she begins her responsibility as a leader in Riverhead, working together with all of us. Guide her in her work. Give her patience, insight, and understanding. We ask you to bless the board, that they may be blessed with the same virtues also. May she also, working with her co-workers and working with the town, receive from the spirit the gift of wisdom, the gift to know what needs to be done the gift of knowing how to do it, and the gift of looking to bring about the good for all people at all times. We pray that she receive these blessings in abundance, that her board receive them in abundance today and every day. And we pray this in gratitude to God, who showers us always with his blessings. Amen. Well, amen to that. Thank you, Sister Margaret. And once again, thank you to everyone who contributed to make this day such a huge success. One more round of applause. And with that, we officially conclude today's ceremony. Please enjoy some refreshments in the back. And thank you again for coming today.